G image here, it's about 2,000 or so pixels wide by, what is it, like 1,800, right? Something like that. It's a big image. We want to have that image in an application, and we want the user to be able to pan and zoom in and zoom out on the image, okay? The image will be bigger than the device, so we'll be using a UI scroll view. We'll be using a UI scroll view to be able to go ahead and zoom in and scroll through the image. Everybody? Cool? So we'll create an application. We'll create a new project. And in keeping with name of the project or what we're trying to do, we'll call it UI scroll view. UI scroll view uh, UI image. And zoom in. So UI scroll view, UI image, zoom in. Basically, this is what we're trying to accomplish. You have a bigger image, you want the user to be able to zoom in and see details of that particular image. How do you do it? Okay. We've done scroll views before, so we'll set up a scroll view again. The big important parts of a scroll view or setting up a scroll view correctly is first you need to have your scroll view. So you have your scene, you'll add a scroll view to that scene, right? And what, what, what makes a scroll view really work correctly as you want it to is you need to add a sub view to that scroll view, okay? So first you have your scroll view, then on top of that scroll view you have a sub view. Think of that sub view as the content view of the scroll view. Okay? Think of that scroll view, think of that uh, sub view as the content view of the scroll view. And on that content view, you could add your sub views. On that content view, we'll add our UI image view, for example. Right? In the examples we've done before, we've added a UI image view, for example, with some uh, labels and so forth. But for our example today, same basic concept. You have a basic view controller, which has a view already. You add a UI scroll view to that view. And onto that scroll view, you add a next view. That view you add to the scroll view becomes its sub view, and we call it content view. And on the content view, we'll put in our UI image view. Everybody so far? Right? So those are one of the things you probably want to step it out. Because every time you're doing a scroll view, you have to probably go back to a tutorial. Right? But at the end of the day, that is the basic requirements you need. Okay? So let's go ahead and set that up. We'll go to our storyboard. What's the first thing we do? Scroll view. So I search for scroll view. And I add my scroll view to my view controller scene. And that scroll view will take up the entire device. And the constraints will be zero all around. So first, my scroll view. Then I go to add new constraints. Add new constraints for the scroll view. I say zero to the top, zero to the lead end, zero trailing, and zero bottom. So those are four constraints for my scroll view. At this point, my constraints are not are broken because the scroll view needs a content view. It needs to know how wide and how tall it is. It doesn't know right now. So we'll go ahead and we'll add in. So right now we have our scroll view. Now we need to go ahead and search for UI view. We get a UI view. We place the UI view on top of the scroll view. Me placing a UI view on top of the scroll view makes that a sub view of the scroll view, correct? Now, I have a sub view, which we'll call content view later. But now, let's just constrain this one. I'll go to my document outline. I will call this generic view a content view. So I click on it, and I say content view. And I'll control drag to set up the constraints. So I'll control drag from my content view over to my scroll view. So control drag from content view over to scroll view. 
and I'll say I want it to be leading, top, trailing, bottom, and equal width, equal height. Yes. So the content view, yours says what? You first added a scroll view, correct? Then you added a view on top of it. That view you added on top of it, you call it content view. So let's go ahead. Control drag from content view over to scroll view. And we say leading, so shift, I'm holding down the shift key. Leading has a check by it. Trailing, bottom, equal width, equal heights, correct? Yes? All right, perfect. At this point, we should have no warnings, no errors from auto layout. And now let's add our image. So for my image, I go to assets. I import image. Image. So we all have access to an NYC subway map. I click open and I go back to storyboard. And now I add in an image view. So I search for image view. And the image view will take up the entire device because our subway map is awesome, right? Okay, for the image, let me zoom in here. I'll control drag from my image. And now I'm laying out my image view in relation to my content view, right? So at this point, anything you're laying out on that content view is in relation to the content view. So my image, yes, sir. Um, did you add an image view on top of the content view, on top of the view, or was that just a regular? It's on top of the, um, the view we added. We renamed it content view. Because I feel like I'm missing stuff. Like I have, like just the con I don't have the image view. We just added the image view. Oh, OK. Yeah. Do you have a scroll view? Yeah. You have the other view we added. Yeah. You call that content view, right? Yeah. And now we added an image view to the content view. And let's go ahead and set the constraint. So we said control drag from image view over to content view. And we want to make it leading, top, trailing, and bottom. And let's see what the hierarchy looks like. What did I say? Sorry, one sorry. Second, one second. Uh, content view, image view, size inspector, uh, trailing, leading, bottom, top. And, and it's, to the content view. it's to the content view. Right? So let's verify here. Those are the constraints we have for the image view, four constraints. So at the top, we have our scroll view. If I close the scroll view, what do I have? I open up my scroll view hierarchy. Its sub view is the content view. Tanya? What happens? Uh, with the auto layout? What does the error say? OK. Julia, how is yours going? OK. So I just want to see the hierarchy here so that we know exactly how to set up a scroll view. So we have a view we want to add a scroll view to, right? We say we add a scroll view to it. Let me zoom in here. We add a scroll view to it. The scroll view has one sub view. The sub view is what? What's the sub view here in our case? I'm sorry, what were the constraints for the scroll view? So the scroll view, it was zero all around. Yeah, that was it. And then after that, we added a view. And the view was laid out to the, the, the scroll view. It was zero all around, equal with equal height. You're welcome. Um, next, we have our scroll view. Our one sub view is the? The content view, right? And in that content view, how many sub views do we have? How many sub views does the content view have? One, which is the image view, right, everybody? All right. Cool. Now my image view, let's go ahead and get our Pursuit logo. Pursuit. Oh, sorry. I love the Pursuit logo, huh? Uh, we're doing the map. Sorry. 
Yeah, we're doing the map. <laughs> so the map, I want it to be aspect fill. So change the content mode. Change the content mode of the map to say aspect fill. At this point, it takes up the entire device plus more, right? There's parts of the map we do not see, correct? Yeah. Right, because right now the map is way bigger than the device. Okay, now we need to do extra steps. We need to now have a reference of the scroll view in our view controller. We need to have a reference of the image view as well in the view controller. Let's go ahead and do so. So open up our assistant editor. Open up our assistant editor. And I don't think we need this anymore. I could open that up a bit more here. Oh, actually we do need it because I want to get access to it. Um, okay, next step, let's drag the scroll view. Control drag scroll view over to view controller and call it scroll view. And next, we want to get the image. So drag in our map here. So get access to your image view, control drag over, and we'll just call this subway map. Subway map. OK. That should be it here for now. Um, close this. No, we did not drag the content view at all. The only thing we got access to was the scroll view and the image view. OK, cool. So we're back in our view controller. We will set the scroll view's delegate to ourselves. The scroll view has this one method that we're after. We need a method called view for zooming. So basically, our scroll view will return the subway map it's going to return the subway map as that view we want the user to be able to zoom. So what does that look like? So we'll have an extension, but before the extension, in our view did load, we'll say scroll view dot delegate equal to self. As we always did before, we'll say extension on my view controller UI scroll view delegate. And the one method we after in our scroll view delegate is view for zoom in. What type, what data type does this uh, function return? It returns a UI view. So whatever view you want the user to zoom, you return that view. In our case, what are we returning? We're returning the subway map. That's all it needs. And the last step we need to do here is provide, so provide a, ma a maximum zoom scale of greater than one. One is the default value if not set one zoom. Okay? And on our scroll view, we'll say scroll view dot maximum zoom scale equal to some number greater than one, we'll say five. If you have a device the experience might be better for you to run it on your device. But here, let's run it in the simulator and see how far we get with zoom in here. We have to do two pin zoom to be able to pinch it. Let's see what we get to. Run. So I'm running the app. I'm holding down the option key. Do we see those two circles here? If I hold down the option key, do we see the access to the two circles running around? Right? And we could hold down, you could mouse down and zoom. So first, hold down the option key, 
The Option key will bring up the two pinch areas. Do we see that? Next, we hold down the mouse and we drag. Yes? Kelby? Yes. Um, can you double check um, on Mel's computer? It's cut off. Are you, did you change the content mode to aspect fill? Did you set the constraints? When is the cut off? What do you mean? Uh, but you could pan, right? Can you pan over? You could pan ar around. You should be able to pan around at this point. <laughs> Uh, Maybe here? If we do um, scale to fill, we do scale to fill, we'll see the whole thing. Yeah, scale to fill, yes. Now, the journey expand when you like my one past the border. Yeah. Scale to fill, scale to scale to fill, and then we'll like, 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 is everybody able to plan? Let me see where we are. Um, so you're not able to see your... It goes to the very top, right? Like we could constrain it to be 20. Yeah, I can do the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You could constrain it, like give it a border instead of going all the way to zero. Like give it some sort of constraint, like 20, for example, like the map itself. Okay. <laughs> Mel, I'll take a look right after this. I could just fit the I could just fit the constraints on that. I also wanted to show us a basic zoom there. Okay. Um, that's a basic way just to zoom some view. Okay. We could have more constraints in there to make the map itself based on what we want. We could make a smaller scroll view, right? The limit there's no limit there for what we do. But the big part to know for sure is setting up the maximum zoom scale. Everybody. Right? I need to set the maximum zoom scale to bigger than 1.0, because 1.0 is the default. If you don't set that, it won't be able to zoom there for you. And remember uh, to return the view you actually want to zoom. So that's a basically a two-step process. So step one, step one would be return the view for zooming. And step two, would be to set, step two would be to set the maximum zoom scale greater than the default one. Cool? All right. So just keep that project handy for when you want to do anything with like zooming or whatever of that nature. It's easier to set that up as opposed to creating some pinch gesture. On the pinch gesture, you need to do like a pan gesture. This will make your, work, your life way easier. Okay. Great, so we'll stop here.